Uh, he can guard like any position on the court. Uh, interior, he, he, got, he has the strength and the size. And the, the arm, his wingspan is crazy. And uh, that wingspan also helps him guard perimeter guys as well. Gigi, what's with the uh, shooter sleeve today? You had to put that on first. Uh, it's, it doesn't, I don't really put it on to help me. I just, I just like the way it looks on the court. <laughs> I guess the, coach, the coaching staff's kind of hoping that you staying home and playing here helps them over the course of the next couple of recruiting classes. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to be a guy that stayed home and played? And how do you kind of hope that impacts some of the other guys that you, you know pretty closely over the 24, 25 classes? Uh, a lot of the uh, great basketball players that come out of South Carolina tended to, to not stay home and leave to go other places. So I feel like uh, I can start a new new wave to you know, just stay home. What do you hope? How do you kind of balance, obviously, this being year one and trying to kind of build what Coach Paris wants versus trying to go out there and win every game? What's that balance like for, for you and the rest of the guys on the team? Um, I feel like uh, a balance, like, the team, we always come together and, like, kind of discuss over, like, what we want, our goals over the season. And now I feel, I feel like we know what we want to do. What are the what's the relationship like with Zach and, and Dan? Uh, I tend I, I stay in their room more than I stay in my own room to be honest with you. I, I call those like my big brothers or everyone on the team is like tremendously older than me. But uh, those guys, we uh, Coach Paris calls us like the three Stooges. It was something like that. But I'm I'm always around them. We always like getting into some else or whatever. How how often do you watch the Three Stooges? Have you ever seen the Three uh, Stooges? When I was younger, my dad he, he used to have like the old the old like black and white Three Stooges. And, uh, the only episode that I can remember, it was like they was trying to um, like rob something or something like that, and they was in the cab like turning the wheel crazy. That was the only episode I can remember. Where do they kind of have you playing most right now? The three, four, five. How how often are they kind of stretching you out? Uh, primarily primarily the three, but uh, I, my bread and butter is still down low. So every now and then. Uh, I'll get to under the basket to try to get some of the post touches. You studied Frank Martin's defense. You were they pitched a lot of that to you when you were being recruited by them. What's different about what Coach Parrots is asking you to do? And can you kind of talk about what what his defense is like and, and what that system? Uh, I don't feel like it's much of a difference. They're both uh, very defensive minded coaches, but uh, you know Frank didn't allow as much freedom on offense as uh, from like, whatever he was doing, like, how, how aggressive he was coaching. But uh, they're definitely uh, they want you to have a lot of ball pressure, help side, like all those, you know, the, the typical defensive things. How much did you watch Oscar Shibuya last season? And what do you think about possibly matching up with him this year? Man, uh, Oscar is a freak of nature. I, I haven't I haven't gotten to really see him in person, but uh, I feel like I'll definitely be like, a little intimidating. But I, I feel like I'll try to try him at the rim from time to time. And uh, hopefully I can catch him on one of them. Hopefully he's lacking punching on his head. <laughs> Who are you most excited to play this year? Is he one of those guys? Definitely. He's the SEC player of the year. And uh, he is probably number one on the list this year to win it again. But I feel like he's uh, definitely going to be a big challenge. Uh. What day? What day did that uh, list come out? This morning. Oh yeah, this morning. Uh, we kind of already knew, like coming into the season, that we were probably going to be at the bottom. But uh, we call ourselves the underdogs. And uh, Michi Johnson, our point guard, every every time we break down the huddle, you know, he talks about earning it. So uh, we we have a lot of earning to do this year.